guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Lauren and we do all kinds of videos on this channel about makeup, skincare, luxury fashion, girl, even sometimes we do videos about nails. Okay, so if you're here for this, please subscribe and let's get into the video. So I thought tonight what I would do is a nighttime skincare routine and uh, I'm going to be kind of doing a bit of a let's de-stress and relax and take it easy. I just want to do something really, really simple. I have just finished work and I thought why not film this right now. I'm going to be using all Cordially products today. This video is not sponsored by Cordially whatsoever. I wish it was. But I just thought let's do a nice relaxing facial routine and I'm going to be using the brand new Caudalie skincare products as well. These are the brand new Caudalie respiratory range and it's all in the new packaging so we're going to play with this as well and we're going to have to be kind of doing a first reaction, first look on this. So I always like to tie my hair up and have it out of the way when I'm doing skincare. This is so it doesn't get in the way. So I like just have it tied up. What I like to start with is the Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. I'm gonna be dropping in pictures of the products on the sides as it's easier for you to see what it is. So I always like to start with the Makeup Cleansing Removing Oil. Even if I'm wearing makeup, and even if I'm not wearing makeup, and I like to start with this because I really do feel that the oil helps to break down the debris and all of the pollution I have collected throughout the day. I really like to think it will take all of that away. Um, I'm sure all of you know oil cleansers are the best at breaking down just anything and everything. So I always like to start by cleansing with oil. I do find as well the cleansing oil is really great at removing waterproof makeup, uh, long wear makeup, so if you're wearing waterproof mascara and things, really great. Just take it gently over your eyes and it just removes that. Just using a warm washcloth just to remove all the debris and the cleanser. Or if you should be cleansing your neck, don't forget your neck. You always want to try and be super gentle with your skin. Don't be rubbing too much. I mean, my skin is quite red naturally anyway. But try not to rub too much as you're going to prematurely age your skin. Next step, what I like to do is I like to go in with the foaming cleanser. And I find this is a great cleanser for oily, dry, sensitive combination. I think a couple pumps like this. This is great for anyone and everyone. And the reason I like to go in with this for my second cleanse is to remove any traces of oil. And if you don't already know this, your first cleanse will remove makeup, uh, any kind of pollution, impurities on the skin. And your second cleanse actually cleans your skin. And I just really like the way the foaming cleanser feels. It really makes my skin feel clean and fresh. And it's just, look at it, it's so much fun. It's like putting bubble tea on your face. And I'm not wearing eye makeup, so I'm not necessarily going to go in with an eye cleanse today on my lashes or anything. I did take the oil cleanser gently around there, but I'm not going to be taking it directly around there. And now what I like to go on with is my grape water as well. Now you don't have to shake this, but I'm in such a habit of shaking it that I just do. Now I really like to use the grape water because I feel the grape water desensitizes my skin and it would also increase my hydration levels. Now it actually says on the bottle here, it will increase your hydration levels by 127%. So this is the claim that it makes, also desensitizes by 62%. 
Um, so this is great, especially after you've all been cleansing and you've stripped away a lot of your kind of, I guess you could say protective barriers. I guess that's not quite the right word, but I feel like I'm just kind of protecting my skin. So I take this and this. It's really great as well. If your skin is dry, excellent. If your skin is sensitive, excellent. And it's really cooling on your skin. So it's great for summer because it's only natural great water, which is just gonna hydrate you, take out redness. It's a great, great product. Even when you're, if you're tanning in the summer, mist it on your body around the pool, around wherever you are, <gasps> feels so good. And then because I just like to pack, I just like to pack this in real quick. Then after we've done the great water, I'll go in with Beauty Elixir. For those of you who haven't tried Beauty Elixir, you're missing out. It's an amazing product. Beauty Elixir can set your makeup, tighten your pores, refresh the skin, add radiance, making you look super fresh. And the smell is absolutely gorgeous. The smell is like a eucalyptus, myrrh, mm, heaven scent. It's really, really nice very very uplifting very very relaxing definitely something that is worth picking up in even just a i don't know why i'm reading the back sorry even just in a travel size just to try it out because once you start using this you won't be able to stop it's a really great setting spray for makeup if i didn't already say i just love it then i'm going in with the gentle buffing cream so depending on how my skin is feeling, if I'm feeling dry, I will mix about this size with uh, a few pumps of oil cleanser. Um, I'll go in with the oil cleanser, maybe like two pumps. If I'm feeling normal or not like I really need to exfoliate, I will mix it in with foam cleanser. Just makes the medium much nicer and more slippy for your skin. And don't be afraid to use this scrub. I would say fairly vigorously. Obviously be gentle on your skin, but the actual exfoliant in this scrub is jojoba seeds. So you are not going to over exfoliate or cause any micro tears or do any damage to your skin. Using this exfoliation is perfectly safe. They do also do a deep, a, a, a deep exfoliator and it's so much more grainy and that is actually made with corn seeds, which is the exfoliant in that. I think, it, I think it's corn seeds. It's corn, yeah, I think it's corn seeds. Um, so that's much more, I guess you could say, what's the word? It's much, much more intense i guess for me personally i find the gentle is enough like i say my skin is somewhat sensitive and i really only recommend most people exfoliate once a week that is pretty much really all you need to do some people will do twice a week if they feel it's necessary um but most people are okay with once a week daily i would not recommend you can just over exfoliate your skin and your skin can somehow start to do the opposite because you are exfoliating the skin off so much it actually ends up producing much more skin than what is necessary um, which is why your skin looks and feels dry um, so I really would only recommend once a week twice a week max um, and any of these daily exfoliating facial washes and scrubs I would just get rid and I wouldn't bother I just find them too harsh and your skin will actually thank you for doing less exfoliation uh, but more regularly essentially and again I'm just gonna use warm water I'm just gonna wash this off and again you don't want to really be rubbing your skin you just want to kind of like dab the product off it is tempting to go like on your skin. But again, you can cause damage and over exfoliate. And then once you remove that layer of skin, you start to get an exposed dermis, which 
can be quite, uh, it can lead to all kinds of issues, so just, just be careful. Now I'm doing all my exfoliation and my skin is feeling so clean and so fresh. I am going to go back in with my great water. Mix. Beauty elixir. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a mask. So I'm just going to dab all this in, make sure my skin is happy to absorb everything. And again, this is when you're more, this isn't what I do every single day. This is definitely more of a treat for my skin and more of a, I guess you could almost call it a, like a mini facial session, I guess. So I'm going to be using two products on my face, or I should say two masks, and I'm going to be using the purifying mask and the moisture mask. So, what I'm thinking of doing is, I'm going to apply the purifying mask to the bottom part of my face. And this is because I am being a beautician and doing treatments. We are, of course, wearing the disposable face masks and a visor across the face. And when we're doing this, of course, our skin underneath is suffering. It's feeling congested. It's feeling as if it can't breathe. Um, and I definitely feel as though the skin needs a really deep clean after a couple of days of wearing these masks um, for eight, nine hours a day, client after client after client, anybody out there can relate. It's not just beauticians and hairdressers. Um, many, many other people in, these, in different industries are having to wear a mask all day. And I definitely think doing a deep cleansing mask on your face, I'm talking about skincare mask, not face covering, you can really help to not get this mask need that people are saying. So the purifying from Cordly is a super nice mask because what it actually does is it purifies, cleanses, clarifies, and um, clarifies, and it also targets blemishes. So any blemishes you already have, or any blemishes that you feel are coming, it targets these in the process. And I have a dry, sensitive skin, and the, what I like about this particular mask is it's non-setting. So a lot of these kind of purifying masks that are claiming to cleanse and remove impurities, and all of these things are setting. And now when I say they are setting, I mean, the, the mask will dry to like a hard clay finish. And this is fine if you have an oily skin or acne skin or something that is more prone to very harsh daily breakouts or if you produce a lot of excess oil. This is great for you to use. But as I am dry sensitive, the reason I love this mask is that it doesn't set, which means that I get a really nice clarifying mask without the harshness of the dry clay. Because I do find the clay to be very stripping of my skin and its natural oils. So this could be one that could be nice to check out. And also the scent on this is amazing. It just makes you feel like you're in a spa. It really, really does. And then on the top half of my face and on the remainder of my neck, I am going to be using the moisturizing mask and this nourishes uh, your skin with hydration and it soothes the skin. So it's very silky, nice, hydrating mask. It's gonna leave you feeling supple, soft and refreshed. And then what we want to do is we want to leave this on for about 10 minutes. And now if I want to really relax when I'm doing this, 
I will either put on a kind of crazy one, but oh well, this is beauty at its finest. I will put on a guided meditation for 10 minutes or a little bit longer, just so that I can feel as though I am relaxed. And I would always probably make myself a nice herbal tea, something to help me relax while my mask is on. So this is a cordially tea here, and this is very, very relaxing, I would say. It is a draining organic herbal tea, and the ingredients in this are cinnamon, blueberries, blackcurrant, sweet orange peel, and red vine. And it just feels so nice and relaxing, and it just smells lovely. And I really do enjoy these teas. Uh, so it's, it's something that I don't have very often. I'm mostly making this for clients, not for myself. But when I get a chance to have a cup of tea, I would, I'd rather have a herbal than a regular. But uh, they actually do have a whole range of products in this line. They actually do a whole line of slimming. So it's slimming and detoxifying this range. And they have a contour oil, a body scrub. They have a new cream. It's called the Sculpt Cream, uh, which I'm actually super excited to try. I haven't tried this product yet, but something I really, really, really enjoy about Cordley is their company Ethos and I have only really started to become super passionate about this brand because I actually really do stand behind everything that they stand for. They want to become the cleanest skincare company in the next few years and they're already pretty much on their way there. But I just really love how they want to make sure all their products are clean, there is no nasties in there, everything is all healthy for your skin, healthy for the environment, protecting the ocean, reducing plastic waste. And one thing I really, really love is that they give 1% to save the planet of their profits, which I think is, is really kind and really generous. And I love how everything that they are trying to produce, they are trying to make less waste or they're trying to reduce plastic and they're trying to create a more sustainable company that cares about you and cares about the world. It just makes you feel good that as a therapist as well, you are doing good for your client and you are also doing good for the world. Now that my skin is all clean and fresh, feels so fresh, so clean, I'm going to go in with the new Best Veritrol range. Now, they just relaunched this, they've reformulated they have changed the packaging um, it's this really kind of cute pink packaging now. Um, you can see it's like this baby pink, it's really, really cute. And uh, if you are interested, I am more than happy to do an in-depth video of the new range, talking about the ingredients, talking about everything, because I really do love skincare. So if you're interested in this video, let me know in the comments below, because I can definitely make this happen. So I'm going to go in with the serum to start with. And I'm just going to apply this all over my skin to get across my decollete. This range feels so silky, so smoothing feels cashmere soft. I absolutely love it. 
And these are full of resveratrol, which is really plumping and is a patent for Cordley that they have created with Harvard University. So that's super exciting. It's a painted ingredient that is only in their products. And it's also full of hyaluronic acid and it really helps to kickstart and boost your own natural collagen as well as stimulating more collagen to uh, produce in your skin. Now I'm going on with the eye lifting balm and you want to do on your ring fingers like this. Pat, pat, pat over your brow and then using your ring finger you want to apply just like this in circular motions. We use our ring finger purely for the reason that it has the least amount of pressure and we are dragging the least amount. Now something that I really really love about this eye cream in particular is it's formulated in such a way that you can take the cream all the way under your eye. So taking it all the way under your eye, rather than just taking it to the bone, you can take it all the way under. It's formulated in such a way that it helps to iron and smooth out these creases. Iron and smooth out these creases. And do not worry, it is not rich that you will get milia or you will get any kind of spotting situation under the eyes. It's formulated to prevent that from happening and it really helps to really smooth and soften the fine lines and wrinkles you have under and around your eyes. My favorite eye cream to date. Next, I'm gonna go on with the night cream. I'm just gonna apply this all over. This is kind of like a, feels like a whipped gel almost. It's hard to explain the texture. Don't forget your neck. Apply all the way across. <sighs> now I know you're thinking, Ooh. you're thinking my skin looks red, and maybe a little bit, but you have to remember, we've done a lot to my skin. We've been done a nice exfoliation, we've done a mask, we've done everything. So it's gonna be a little bit red. And this is fine because it's just all gonna calm down and accept the nutrients. Next, I'm going in with French Kiss. This is in the shade Addiction. And these are tinted moisturizers for your lips. And these are to soften and hydrate. gives your lips a nice little bit of colour without being too much when you're not wearing makeup. It just gives your lips a nice bit of colour to them. And of course, we're going to finish with Beauty Elixir. <sighs> nice and relaxing. As always, guys, I really... Look at my towel, it's falling. Oh! <laughs> As always guys, I really appreciate you staying to watch my videos. Without you, my channel wouldn't exist, so thank you. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please give me a like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, good night. <laughs>